Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, just a quick video about if you're debating uh, getting the Pixel 6a through carriers or through the Google Store. Uh, this is my personal opinion, but I am uh, usually get my phones from the carriers. Um, my I use T-Mobile as my carrier, so with T-Mobile, the advantage of going through T-Mobile through them is that they, they usually have promotional, um, promotional credits if you trade an eligible device. Uh, they recently just giving you they giving you decent amount of credits if you're on an old tier plan so which is good for me because i'm not on the magenta max or whatever those newer plans are called now so and when i picked up pixel 6 i traded an iphone 7 for 300 dollars off of the pixel 6 um so i got the initial split into two payments um the um the instant credit that goes to the the trading credit that goes to the bill to the bill and the rest of the, the remaining credits go over 24 months so total three hundred dollars off so that means i got the pixel 6 for um for three hundred dollars off or half off so which is good too so i'm pretty happy about that and i've been with t-mobile for almost 10 almost 10 years now it should be close to 10 so i don't see myself leaving so i told myself why not get the pixel 6 6 uh the Pixel 6 on T-Mobile Forge. And um, so I'm gonna do the same thing with the Pixel 6a once it comes once it comes on. Uh, I like, to, unfortunately, the bad stuff about it is that if you get the T-Mobile brand, it's locked to T-Mobile unless you're willing to pay full price on the phone right off the bait, right off the gate and use the phone for X amount of days on their network and they after that they have to unlock it so i know with the um with the pixel 6 through the google store it's online so you can t you can use it on any carrier but there i find their trading credits pretty uh pretty small or not much compared to the t-mobile for in, compared to the t-mobile trading so do you want to play you want to buy a pixel 6a on a on through t-mobile which they give you more trading credits because they want to lock you in for two years with their trading credits or go to pixel six and do you see yourself um switching carriers or whatever the case but you pay a little bit more but from the starting price is only 150 or cent or 19 dollars a month which is not bad but but that's just my opinion um if you let me guys let me know if you try to get it through your carrier or google store and whatnot so looking forward to it i can't wait to pre-order and everything so i can't wait